Hey everybody, I'm professional landscape photographer Austin James Jackson. In this video, we're going to be covering how to set up your file for printing, specifically at Artbeat Studios. Now regardless of where or how you edit your images, this video is going to cover the recommended specifications needed to print the best quality images. Whether you're looking to just print a family photo for your own wall at home, or you're a professional photographer that's wanting to print your images to post in a gallery, this video is going to cover absolutely everything that you need to know in order to properly prepare your file for print. The first thing that's worth mentioning here is the difference between metal prints and any other kind of print. Metal print preparation should be treated a little bit differently than any other kind of print, and you may need to pay special attention to the white point on metal. Metal prints are incredibly vibrant and the white point is slightly less than traditional photo paper. For this reason, it's usually recommended that you slightly increase the brightness and contrast for any file that you're preparing to print on metal. Later in the video, I'm going to show you exactly how I prepare and export a photo from Photoshop to get ready for printing on metal. Now to start, we need to talk about color space. Ideally, you edit your photos in the correct color space in order to get the best accuracy with your print to begin with. I'm going to show you how to set that up a little bit later. However, if your image is already edited, not to worry. You can easily change the color space of the image, which may slightly tweak the colors, but you can go in and make adjustments as needed once you change the color space. With multiple different color spaces to choose from, it's important to pick the correct one in order to get the most accurate print. Now, while Profoto RGB has some of the richest colors and the largest gamut, these colors can only be displayed on screens that support that wide color gamut. When printed, these colors are out of gamut and they will not produce accurate results. You do not want to use Profoto RGB. Instead, most print labs use either Adobe RGB 1998 or sRGB color spaces for printing. Artbeat uses Adobe RGB, which offers the widest gamut possible when printing. For artists and photographers that need the absolute best color accuracy, you should be using Adobe RGB 1998. For most other consumers, if you don't want to bother changing the color space and you're in sRGB, that'll work just fine and will result in a really nice looking print as well. For this video, I'm going to use my own image and show you how I prepare for print. Then I'm actually going to have the image printed, and I'm going to show you how I can get it to turn out just like the image on screen. First things first, let's jump into Photoshop so I can show you how to set up your file for print. Regardless of whether you took your image on a cell phone, DSLR, mirrorless camera, whether the image is edited or not, or any of that good stuff, I want to show you guys first how you can set up the color space in Photoshop to make sure that the image that you are looking at on your screen is in the same color gamut as the image that is going to be printed. Now the first thing that you want to do with your image loaded here into Photoshop is go to edit, Scroll down to color settings, and then you are going to see a bunch of options here. I'm going to show you exactly what needs to change. It's actually a lot simpler than you might think. Go through and adjust this RGB. You're going to change this to Adobe RGB 1998. That's going to give you the best color gamut for printing. Now you're also going to want to go down. You're going to want to check all three of these boxes uh, for profile mismatches ask when pasting and missing profiles ask when opening. So essentially what that's going to do is when you load an image into Photoshop, if it's in a different color space, Photoshop will just give you a quick little message and say, Hey, just so you know, this is in a different color space. Do you want to keep editing it in the color space that it's in? Or would you like to convert it to Adobe RGB like you have your settings set up for? So like I said, I always recommend editing in Adobe RGB if you can. But uh, for me, my image was not edited in Adobe RGB, but I can easily convert it by just hitting OK here. Now, it doesn't look like a lot has changed, but Photoshop is going to be working in Adobe RGB when I am editing my images here. The next thing I want to do to help improve the accuracy of my print is reduce the brightness of my screen. This is because whatever surface you're printing on obviously is not backlit like a screen is, so it's not going to be as bright. So I want to darken my screen to help kind of match that of a print. So you're not going to be able to see it on the video, but as I darken my screen just a little bit here, um, it then makes my screen look a little bit more like the print is going to look in person. For most people, this usually looks like taking it down four, five, maybe six notches on the brightness of your screen, depending on how bright it is to begin with. But definitely you will want to darken that screen just a little bit. Then you can go in and as I mentioned, since the white point is a little bit different on a metal print specifically, when I am printing on metal, I like to add a little bit of brightness and a little bit of contrast. Even if you don't know how to use Photoshop, don't worry, I'm going to show you a super, super easy way to do that here in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and click on this circle with a slash through it and you're going to open up a brightness slash contrast layer. 
Up here on the right, you should see the option to adjust brightness and contrast. Usually I like to increase the brightness by maybe 10 to 15 points. And then the contrast between 15 and 20 points. I can toggle this eyeball to see how it looks. Now I feel pretty confident that the image I'm looking at on the screen is going to be really similar to what I see in person. So once you're happy with the image here on the screen and you're ready to send it off to be printed, you're going to want to export this photo, making sure you leave it in that Adobe RGB color space. Now, if you don't have access to Photoshop and you're just using a photo you took on your phone, most smartphones allow you to slightly increase the brightness and the contrast when you go through to edit your image on your smartphone. After you're happy with the image, you're going to export it, making sure that you leave it in Adobe RGB 1998. In Photoshop, I'm going to show you exactly how I would do that. I would go up to File, and you're going to go down to Export, Export As. You're going to go to Export the Photo. You're going to make sure that you leave the format in JPEG, or you change it to JPEG if it's already not. Change the quality all the way to the maximum up at 7. You can scroll down and adjust the image size as you see fit. If you're resizing your photo to make it a lot larger, I highly recommend checking out another video that we have on the channel here that shows you how to upscale your photos for print. Next, you'll go down to color space. Make sure that you uncheck the convert to sRGB box and you check the embed color profile box. That'll make sure that you embed the color profile that we set up, which again was Adobe RGB 1998. Then you can go ahead and hit export and upload your photo to Artbeat Studios. Now, if it's important to you, you can actually create a test print on just like a little four by four square piece of metal in order to make sure the color accuracy is absolutely perfect. Most people don't need to do this, but if you are an artist or someone that absolutely must nail the colors perfectly in your image, you may want to do a test print. You can easily just order a simple little four by four piece of metal in order to make sure that the colors and the brightness look just right before you order your much larger print. Alrighty guys, well I just got the print that we went ahead and fixed up for print in this video. So I wanted to show you guys, I unboxed it here. Here it is. You can see it just looks fantastic. We've got this nice satin finish on this metal print. I think it really, really turned out well. And additionally, I'll show you here if I can manage to hold all this stuff up. Now you can see on the right here, I've got my computer screen on the left. I've got the print. They look pretty much exactly the same. And now, of course, the screen is backlit. So look a little bit different, but you can see how the colors and the brightness levels match just perfectly between the computer screen and the print. So overall, really happy with how this turned out. If you follow the process, your prints are going to turn out just absolutely fantastic when you print them at Artbeat Studios.